the purpose of the initiative to end childhood malnutrition um, is to create a locally sustainable, effective, and reproducible malnutrition protocol for a developing rural area. The initial work was really led by our amazing fellow, uh, Carrie Cohn. It was with her leadership and creativity that uh, very early on, she took a few Harvard undergraduate students with her. You know, what's so amazing, there are these undergraduates that are 18, 19 years old who have no experience um, medically treating kids that are going to Uganda and saving kids' lives just because they're energetic and have new ideas. You know, what I always like to say is, somebody asks, you know, when you did over J-term, you know, how many people can actually say they physically saved a life? I think, you know, as an undergrad, we're very uh, optimistic and uh, hopeful and, um, you know, believe maybe a little bit too much, but uh, in, in our ability to, you know, make a difference in the world, um, I, I mean, we're not totally naive. But having been there and having watched so many children with those swollen bellies come in and die three days later, I mean, there's nothing like watching a child die from, from nothing more than not eating the right type of the right type of food. This program has caught all of us by surprise in a, in a remarkably uh, exciting way. Over we, we counted and over the last year we've treated over 5,000 children for acute uh, severe malnutrition. A lot of aid is not very well directed, but if we direct the aid towards the things that can make a difference, saving lives, helping people to escape from poverty, it can be tremendously effective. It's great to want to change the whole world, but you know, if you can make one, help one child get better, you're changing that person's world in, in an incredible way and giving them a chance to experience all that life has to offer. Mm -hmm.